All right, so this is a continuation of how to use Divi and Tutor LMS. So I'm going to be working on the courses page now. So over here, I've pretty much created my page. So just like what we did before, I am going to paste my short code in here. So I'm just going to get rid of everything here, paste my short code. So this is the short code that is going to show my courses in here. So every time I add new courses, they're going to be shown here. So I know it's loading up here, but I'm just going to go ahead now and hit save. And you can see here that it is now showing. So this is a better design because I can control my text here and give it a color that I want. So if I go, if I were to go back in here, you can see I can target this part here and change my color. So let's say I want to go with this blue. That could be the color that I could just add. And as you can see, this is much, much better. But like I said, at the moment, this is the best way that we can use Divi and Tutor LMS. But the integration, as I mentioned in the other video, will be coming soon. Okay, so now that I have this, the next stage is to make sure I have my padding right. So I'm just going to drag this until I get to about 100. And I'm going to apply the same padding also to the footer. And over here, I just want to make sure that my background is applied. And then I'm going to hit save. I'm also going to save this page. Now, if you want to add a title here, that could also work as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I am going to click here on this plus button and add a text module. Select it. And then here I am just going to say, all courses. Okay, so that's my text. But you know what? I think this would be better if it was a heading. So I'm going to set this to heading two. And then I am going to save all changes and drag this to the top. So it is above my actual courses here. Okay, so there we go. So that looks much better now. I'm going to save this page and exit the visual builder. So hit save and exit. All right, so this is how our page is going to look like. So now that I have this page all set, the next step now is to add all our pages to our menu. And this is very, very important. And to do that, as you're creating all your pages, in fact, let me just come back over here and make sure that my page here is published. So I'm going to hit publish. Okay. So now that my page is published, I'm just going to view it one more time to make sure everything is okay. And sure enough, everything looks great. Okay. So the idea here is to have all the important links over here on the top on the menu. So let me show you how to add those links. So I'm going to come over here to dashboard and then I'm going to hit appearance menus. So I'm going to hit view all. So I know I created a page called my dashboard, which we created in the previous video. So I'm going to add this one here and also all courses add to menu. So this one here, I'm going to remove, which just says courses, because this is the default one that comes with Tutor LMS, which has very limited design options. Okay. So I'm going to drag my contact all the way down to the bottom here, save menu. So now when I come over here to my site and I refresh, so you're going to notice that my dashboard here is going to be different. And when I click all courses, again, this is going to look different. But the most important thing is I have all the links that I need right here at the top. All right. So pretty much this is how you use Divi and Tutor LMS to make your website look awesome. So towards the end of the course, I'm going to show you how to create the landing page, which is going to be the page that people see when they come to your website. But in the meantime, let's now go ahead and show you how to connect your course with WooCommerce so that you're able to sell your courses. All right. See you in the next video.